The third point I want to bring out about the good news this morning is this. You are good. You may not have heard somebody say this to you before, so I'm going to say it again. You are good. You know, some legalistic kind of Christian type people might argue this using the words of Christ. Remember when that rich young ruler came up to Jesus and he said, Good teacher, what good thing must I do to inherit eternal life? And Jesus said to him, Who are you calling good? There's only one who's good, and that's God. And I mean, Jesus must have been saying that with his tongue in his cheek and a twinkle in his eye because he is God. You know, so he's having this, this guy on in a sense, but in totality, in reality, God is the only one that's all completely good in every single way. But the point is this, you know, when God made the world and everything that he made in the world, he sat back, he looked at it, and he said, in fact, even the universe, he sat back, he looked at it all, and he said, it is good. But you know, once he'd made man and woman, he sat back, he looked at us and everything, and he said, it is very good. So turn to the person beside you and say, you are very good. You know, it does not matter how you were conceived. It does not matter who brought you into this world. You are not an accident. You were wonderfully formed by God for an incredible purpose. You were born on purpose. Your conception, your formation was a good thing. The day you were born was a good day. It was a good thing that you came into this world. Now listen, you may have been through some bad things. In your, you may have been even born into a bad situation, and you may have been through some bad things. And the things that you have been through, they may have messed with your heart. They may have messed with your mind. They may have messed with you physically, even in some way. They may have set you on a bad path for a season of your life. You might be carrying some guilt, some shame, some hurt. You may have been told that you're rubbish. You may have been treated like rubbish. You may have felt like rubbish. But I want to tell you this morning, you are not rubbish because God does not create rubbish. You are made in the image of God, and God is good. Hallelujah. And, you know, God takes hold of us. When we come to Him and we bring our lives, we may bring our broken lives to God. And he takes hold of our broken lives and he begins an incredible work of restoring us into his image. And he begins to renew our mind. He restores our soul. He heals us physically in other ways. He straightens us out and he does us good so that he can do good through us. 